All right, I am ready to start. So, chapter one, cruelty. We. Tanjiro. Your face is pitch black. Come here. You don't have to. It's snowing and it's dangerous. I want us to have a great New Year's feast, so I'll go sell as much charcoal as I can. Even if it's just a wall. Thank you. Tanjiro, you are going to town again today? I want to go to... Wah! No, you can't walk back just like Tanjiro. But ma'am... No. He isn't taking the cart today. So he can't pull you when you're tired. Taco. I know we can do a lot, but cut all the wood today, okay? I want to go with you. I will, but I was hoping we'd do it together. Hurry right back, okay? Be careful. Tanjiro. Let's go. I was putting the Rukuta to sleep, but I heard all the commotion. They've been so lonely since father died. So they've started quenching to you. See you later. Our life isn't easy, but we're happy. But life is like fitter. Weather. It's always changing. It won't always be easy. And the snow won't always keep falling. <coughs> when happiness ends, there's always the smell of blood in the air. Oh, Tanjiro. <coughs> you came down the town, down a mountain on a day like today. You work so hard. You'll catch cold. Thanks for fixing my door. My shut your door the other day. Hey, sell me some charcoal. Give me some charcoal too. Uh -huh, Tanjiro. You're just in time. She says I broke a dish. Help me. Smell it. <laughs> I smell a cat. A cat? Oh dear. See? I told you it wasn't me. Thank you all. Will you help me carry some bundles? A little later. Yeah, it's getting late. Hey, Tanjiro, you aren't. Going up back the mountain, are you? It's too dangerous. I have got a good nose for trouble, I'll be fine. You can stay here. Please, come back. But it's alright, you're welcome here. You don't want to run into any demons. Ages. I mean, for ages. Men eating demons have roamed these woods after dark. So you shouldn't walk around at night. Eat, then sleep. You can get up and go home early tomorrow. But can the demons come inside houses? Yes, they can. But then, why don't they eat? Eat everyone, because demon slayers cut them down, have for ages. Old man Sapna lives alone, he was this family, he must be lonely. Next time I'll bring my little brothers, there's no need to fear, there's no such things as, thing as demons. But now that I think about it, my grandmother said the same thing before she died. A little later. When happiness ends, there's always the smell of blood in the air. <sighs> oh, what a shock, isn't it? What the? Ah, what happened? What happened? Oh boy. Mother. Shikuru, Nezuko, Rokuta. Am I supposed to be panting the main effect or... No, I'm not going to panting. Only Nezuko's body was 
still warm. Maybe a doctor can save her. How did this happen? A bear? Maybe a bear too hungry to hibernate? Nah, it was demon. So hard to breathe. They are so cold, it's freezing my lungs. Keep going. Move your feet faster. It's still a long way down. I won't let you die. I have to save you. Your big brother will save you. <laughs> oh no, I'm slipping. The snow saved me, but it also made me slip. Let's go. You shouldn't be up. Let me carry you into town. Let's go. A, de a demon. I found what old man Saburo said. Was Nesko a man eating demon? No, that was impossible. Nesko has been human since the day she was born. This Nesco smells of blood and death. But Nesco couldn't have done all that I found her. Falling over Rakata like she was protecting him. She didn't have any blood on her mouth or hands. And there's yet an other smell. Whatever the reason, she's growing bigger and she's getting stronger. She can play basketball now. While I was safely asleep in town, something horrible happened to my whole family. How they must have suffered, and I wasn't there to help them. I have to save Nesco if I can. But she's so strong, I can't push her away. Hold on, Nesco. Fight it. Fight it for your life. Don't turn into a demon. Be strong. You can do it. Let's go. Hmm. She's sad. Oh no. <laughs> Swing. Whoa. Whoa. Who is that? A, a katana. Why do you protect her? She's my sister. My little sister. That is your little sister. Stunch. Dash. Nesco. Don't move. Killing demons is my job, so of course. I'll take your little sister's head too. Wait, Nesco hasn't killed anyone. There was a scent at my house from someone I've never smelled before. That must be who killed everyone. Not Nesco. I don't know what's making her act like this, but that's easy. Demon blood gonna her bound, so she's transformed into a demon. Grrr. That is how many ten demons multiply. Nesco would never eat anyone. A moment ago she almost ate you. No, I'm sure she knows who I am. I won't let her hurt anyone. I'll find a way to cure her. I'll make her human again. She won't get better. A human woman becomes a demon cannot go back. I'll find a way, I swear. Please don't kill her. I'll also find the one that killed my family. I'll do all that so... 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 Stop. I can't lose Nesca too. Please, stop. Please don't kill my little sister. Please. Please. Never leave yourself so defenseless in front of an enemy. 
Huh? Stop puffing so pitifully. If that worked, your family would still be alive. How can a weak wing like you will bow down when it's time to fight, to kill, or be killed? How can such a man cure his little sister? Or even find his enemy? If you want something, you must fight for it. The meek have no power and no options. The strong will crush them in every way. Demons might know how to cure all sister, but no demon will respect your whining and begging. And for that matter, I don't respect you either. That's reality. Before. Why did you cover your eyes? Your sister. Did you think that it would protect her? Why didn't you feel real hatchet? Why did you show me her back? That's why I was able to take her. I should have schemed you both. <laughs> don't cry. Don't despair. Those things will do you no good. Your family is dead and your sister has become a demon. Your heart is crushed. I know your pain. How you must want to cry it out. If I'd come half a day sooner, your family might have survived. Survive, survived. But there is no turning back time. Fill your heart with anger. Strong, pure anger. That gives no quarter. Anger that becomes the unwearying force that drives your limbs. Weakness and emptiness and emptiness cannot protect your sister or find her a cure and they certainly cannot avenge your family. Wha Squeak Gah No Her Whip Whip Wow a simple head on attack, wine and pure emotion. What a fool. Tonk. Where's this jet? Shunk. Whip, whip, whip. Honk. Just before passing behind the tree, he flew around. And while hidden. Behind the tree, he threw his hatchet. This is and so I wouldn't see he wasn't armed. He knew he couldn't win, and they win against me, so his plan was to strike me down after I killed him. This kid. Grr. Funk. Squip. Squip. No, I'm too late. She's about to eat him. Nezuko. Not Nezuko. Nezuko would never eat anyone. He wouldn't be the first to say that and then get it. Then anyway. Starving demons will kill and eat their own parents and siblings. Because they need the energy. They've seen, I've seen it countless times. This girl is injured. It costs her strength to heal that wound, not to mention the strength it took her to transform into a demon. She must be double, doubly starved, starved right now, and must want to eat human flesh as soon as possible. But she is protecting him and focusing her anger on me. These two may be different. Whack. I'm sorry, I had to leave you, Tanjiro. Take care of Nesco. <laughs> You're awake? Go see an old man named Sakonjuro Kodaki, who lives at the foot of Mount Sagiri. Tell him that Kyutomioka sent you. Your sister should be fine because the sun isn't out today. But don't let her into direct sunlight. Swish. Stare. 
Let's go. That's the end.